Welcome. Let's solve this question on area approximation, trapezium rule, mid ordinate rule, and also the use of integration in approximating the area. This case is C2014, paper 1, question number 21. Part A. Complete the table below for the function y is equals to x squared minus 3x plus 6, uh, given the range there from negative 2 to 8. So the first part is uh, very easy. You just need to complete uh, the table using that function. So just uh, demonstrate using the first one and then we can fill the others uh, so that we can save time. So like the first one, you want to fill uh, when x is negative 2, what will be the value of y? We are simply using this function. So you just substitute uh, x with negative 2. Like for the first one, x is negative 2. So you just uh, in your calculator, you take x squared. x squared, uh, x is negative 2. So you this one will be negative 2 squared. Then um, subtract 3x. x is negative 2. Then plus 6. So that is what you're going to do for all the others. So when x is uh, negative 1 in the place of x, you just replace. You just substitute uh, using your calculator. And then you find the answer for this. You just need to be very careful when you're using uh, when you're using these brackets that you don't make any error. So let us fill it. Uh, so when x is negative 2, you'll get this one will give us 16. This one will give 10. This one will give uh, 6. This will give 4. This will give 4. This will give 6. Uh, this will give 10. This will give um, 16, this will give 24, this is 34, and this one will give 46. So that is uh, simply how Simbo. you feel that Simbo. you are simply Simbo. substituting the values of x in that function using a calculator and just be careful. Part 2. Uh, use the trapezium rule with 10 strips. To estimate the area bounded by the curve using the trapezium rule that is uh, between the lines x is equals to negative 2 and x is equals to 8. So let's go straight and do that. So the trapezium rule. The trapezium rule states uh, this is how uh, the trapezium rule should be used. I'll write the formula. So area is equals to a half height then y0 plus yn then plus twice all the middle terms so y1 y2 y3 plus go like that up to the end up to yn that is the end the last value of y then close the brackets so this is how we use the trapezium the trapezium rule is given by this formula now let's go to the table here and so from the table we have um, this one is y0 this is y1 this one is y2 this is y3 this one is y4 this one is y5 this one is y6 this one is y7 this one is y8 this one is y9 then the last one let me call this one y n which is y10 okay this is y10, you can call it yn, so that uh, you can explain how to use this formula very well. So, now using those values, now let's apply these in the formula. So, in the formula, this is how we use it. So, we have a half times the height. Uh, the height is the intervals, the x intervals from negative 2 to negative 1, from negative 1 to 0, 0 to 1. You can see the intervals are uniform, 1. Okay, you know, the height is 1. So negative 2 to negative 1, that is 1. From negative 1 to 0, that is 1. 0 to 1, that is 1. So the intervals are 1. So this would be a half times 1. Then y0, y0 is um, here. It is 16. Y0 is 16. Y0 is uh, 16. Then plus yn yn is the last one the last one here is a 46 46 like that then plus a 
twice all the middle terms eh? so the middle terms are from y1 to y9 so from y so we have here from y1 all the way to y9 so those are the middle terms so 10 plus 6 plus 4 go that 10 plus 6 so you have 10 plus 6 plus 4 plus these middle terms are 4 are 2 plus another 4 then plus 6 10 16 6 10 16 then uh, 24 and 34 plus 24 plus 34 like that so that is how you work it out uh, using the formula now from there we just simplify so this will give uh, a half then uh, 16 plus uh, 46 16 plus 46 that would give uh, 62 then plus uh, twice you add these uh, 10 plus 6 all the way up to 34 using a calculator uh, that will give uh, 10 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 10 plus this is a calculator to work out that that will give 114 114 with that so this one will give uh, a half a half times um so this is uh 62 plus 228 and when you work out this using a calculator you'll notice this will be a half of uh this is 62 plus 228 this will give 290 and uh, half of 290 will be 145 square unit and Simple. Simple. square unit. Simple. so that is how you work out area approximation using the trapezium rule now we go to the next the next is the mid ordinate rule the mid ordinate rule use the mid ordinate rule with five strips with five strips to estimate the area bounded by the curve y is equals to x squared minus 3x plus 6 the same lines x is equals to negative 2 x is equals to, to 8 and the x-axis now for the mid ordinate rule uh, this is how we are going to do it so i will have to prepare a table here i will prepare a table another table here you're going to use so this is x this is y so for the mid ordinary rule just look at this table that we have here and uh, this is how you're going to work it out so i want you to look at from negative 2 this strip from negative 2 to 0 that is one strip and you're going to pick the mid of that ordinate which is a negative 1 then from 0 to 2 that is another strip we pick the mid of that you know we must have uh, five strips then from 2 to 4 we are going to pick the mid of that strip which is 3 then again from 4 to 5 we pick uh, the mid of that strip from 4 to 5 we pick the mid of that strip which is 5 then from 6 to 8 we pick the mid of that strip which is 7 so how did they come up with this say you must use 5 strips so the way the strips are if we consider from negative 2 to 8 that will be 10 strips but you want to reduce the number of strips to 5 so that is why we have to increase the interval the x interval so we take one strip for example uh, in this question one strip begins from this is the first one that is one strip 
So we have to increase the interval from negative 2 to 0. We pick the mid of that, which is negative 1. Then uh, the other strip is this up to 3. 1, 2, 3. We pick the mid. Um, no, I think. Uh, so the other strip is uh, starting from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. So this strip that starts from 0 to 2, we pick the mid of that. That is one. Then the other strip, we go on like that. Then the other one. There. Then the other one. There. So when you look at these strips, uh, let me rub something here. So when you look at this strip, this is the first strip, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, and this is the fifth. So now we have five strips. We've done that by expanding the size of one strip. So because if we use the way the strips are with that interval of one, we shall have ten strips. So the first strip, the one that I've indicated there, we pick the mid. Using the mid ordinary rule, we pick the center of that strip, which is uh, negative one. The second one, uh, you pick one. The third one, you pick three. The fourth one, you pick five. Then the fifth one, you pick seven. So those are the ones that I'm going to extract from this uh, table here. So the first one is negative one, then one. So negative one, then one. Uh, then from there, three five seven three five seven three five seven so those are the ones that you extract then you extract also their corresponding y values that is uh 10 so you have this corresponding y value so you have 10 4 6 16 and 34 so 10 4 so you have 10 4 6 16 6 16 and 34 so that is how you extract the ordinates that require using the mid ordinate rule now after doing that um, now how do we use the mid ordinary rule is given by this formula area is given by uh, the height of each ordinate then multiply by the sum of the ordinates the sum of the ordinates so the height of each strip look at the size of one strip eh? one strip in the first one from negative 2 to 0 0 to 2 2 to 4 so you can see the height is 2 at intervals of 2 so that is the height 2 so 2 is the height then add the ordinates the ordinates are here these are the ordinates 10 4 those are the ordinates eh? so we have 10 plus 4 plus 6 plus 16 plus 34 so those are the ordinates and uh, when you work out this this will give 2 multiply by add everything 10 plus 4 so 10 plus 4 plus 6 plus 16 plus 34 that will give 70 and this gives 140 square units as the area using the mid ordinate rule Symbol. That is how Symbol. Symbol. the last one and the last one we are going to use the integration method. So let's go to part D. By integration, determine the actual area bounded by the curve y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 6. The lines x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to 8, and the x-axis. Using integration, first thing to note that integration always gives the actual area so if you're required to get the actual area not now by approximation trapezium rule will give an approximated area mid ordinate rule will give an approximated area but using integration you get the actual area so how do we get the area using our integration method we simply integrate this function with respect to x so the function is uh let me go to this super d 
So the function is y is equals to um, x squared minus 3x. x squared minus 3x plus 6. So, and you're supposed to get uh, the area between uh, bounded by these lines. Eh? x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 8 on the x-axis. So, we're actually integrating between these will be the limit. x is equal to negative 2 to 8 will be the limit. So, to get the area, this is how we simply do it. So, we integrate from the limit from negative 2 to 8. This function x squared minus 3x plus 6. And you're doing this uh, with respect to x know how to integrate these so x squared when you integrate x squared you get you get x cubed divided by 3 then when you integrate 3x you get 3x squared divided by 2 when you integrate um, 6 you get 6x don't forget to add a constant then the square bracket uh, this is uh, from negative 2 to 8 so after doing that uh, this is how we proceed from there. We are going to begin by substituting 8, uh, where we have x, substitute that one with 8. So this will give uh, 8 cubed, which will give uh, 512 divided by 3, then minus 3 times x squared. x is, x is uh, 8, so 8 squared is 60. 64 then 64 multiply by 3 to give 192 uh, so 192 divided by 2 then plus 6 times 8 6x this will give 48 now you can leave the constant because if you work out the other one you subtract the constant will be eliminated so close that then subtract now we're going to substitute um negative 2 is the lower limit or uh, substitute negative 2 so negative 2 cubed will give uh, negative 8 divided by 3 then minus 3 times x squared x squared is uh, 4 negative 2 squared is 4 then uh, 4 times 3 this will give 12 divided by 2 then plus 6 times um, negative 2 that will give uh, negative 12 negative 12 like that so from there you can use the calculator to work out these so 512 divided by 3 minus 192 divided by 2 then plus 48 that will give 368 divided by 3 then subtract negative 8 over 3 minus uh, this will be minus 12 over 2 which is 6 then minus 12 to give minus 62 over 3. So from there, this is what you're going to get. You get 368 divided by 3. Then when you open the brackets, negative and negative, you get positive. 62 over 3. And these will give... Um, 368 over 3 plus will be 430 divided by 3. And when you work out these, 430 over 3, this will give 143 and the third square units. 143 and the third square unit. So that is uh, basically what you're supposed to do. Uh, the first part using the trapezium method got the answer uh, using the mid ordinate rule we got the answer and then the other one is uh, using the integration method so that is how you're supposed to solve that question thank you